Prince Harry shared sweet moment with niece Princess Charlotte during heartbreaking goodbye in UK. Prince Harry, who once shared a beautiful bond with Prince William's spouse Kate and their three kids, shared a heart-touching moment with Princess Charlotte. Prince Harry, who once shared a beautiful bond with his estranged brother Prince William's spouse Kate Middleton and their three kids, moved to the United States to start a new life with Meghan Markle after stepping down from royal duties. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The Duke shared a heart-touching moment with his niece, Princess Charlotte, when all the members of the royal family attended Queen Elizabeth's state funeral at Westminster Abbey in September 2022. They all came together to say a final goodbye to the Queen in an emotional committal service at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Queen's cherished great-grandchildren, Princess Charlotte and Prince George, who is second in line for the throne, were among the youngest mourners at both the events. They arrived at the chapel with Kate and Queen Camilla to pay tribute to the UK's longest reigning monarch, while King Charles and his son Prince William followed the late monarch's coffin. Charlotte, the only daughter of Kate and William, was caught on camera fixing her cap before looking at Harry's face, the mirror reported. The princess received a quick smile from Harry when he looked up and met her gaze. Prince Harry hasn't spent much time with William and his family since he resigned from his position as a working royal and relocated to California. In another moment, Charlotte was seen whispering to her elder brother. She seemed to advise George, you need to bow, as the Queen's coffin passed by. George heeded his sister's instruction, as he was seen bending his head to pay homage to the Queen as her coffin moved away. The Queen's death certificate states that she died peacefully in Scotland's Balmoral Castle on September 8, 2022, at 3.10pm local time. The reason of her demise was old age. In a statement, Buckingham Palace stated that the Queen's death was announced after she was placed under medical supervision because her doctors were concerned about her health. Kate Middleton and Prince Willem made a kind gesture during Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's final engagement as senior members of the royal family. Kate Middleton and Prince Willem are said to have made a kind last-minute gesture during Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's final engagement as senior members of the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped away from the royal family back in 2020. During the 2020 Commonwealth Day service, Harry and Meghan became emotional and upset after they were not allowed to join the senior royals in the main VIP party. The two were expected to make their own way to the front of Westminster Abbey, where they were to wait for the other members of the royal family to arrive. In an attempt to defuse the tension, Kate and her husband, William, reportedly offered to join the Sussexes as they waited for the Queen to arrive. Things, however, did not really go to plan as 2,000 orders of service that had already been printed stipulated that the Prince and Princess of Wales would arrive with the other members of the royal family. The two couples later reportedly exchanged brief and uncomfortable greetings before taking their seats in the Abbey. Despite the Wales's peace offering, things remained cold. The year before that, Kate and Meghan greeted each other with a peck on the cheek, both looking warmer. In the book Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, royal author Tom Bauer said that a monumental argument had taken place after palace officials decided to publicly humiliate Harry and Meghan. Reality hit two days later, on 9th March. A monumental argument blew up after Harry was told that he and Meghan could not join the family's procession through Westminster Abbey for the annual Commonwealth Day service, Bauer wrote. Although the order of service listed Harry and Meghan walking behind the Queen, palace officials had revised their decision. Suspicious about the Sussexes they decided to publicly humiliate them. He added, Harry was told that having stepped down from royal duties, he and Meghan would sit and wait with the congregation. The prospect of the televised image of their isolation in the Abbey appalled them. Bauer suggested that William had not offered a brotherly welcome to Harry, and Kate was outright distant towards Meghan. Eventually, 
To end the dispute, William and Kate agreed they too would wait with Harry and Meghan. As the members of the royal family filed into the abbey, the frayed relationships could not be concealed, he added. Kate Middleton reportedly uses a unique phrase to discipline her children, and it is believed to be very efficient. Kate and Prince William's three young children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, are attending more public events as they grow older. Royal family fans have often pointed out that the three are remarkably well behaved. However, a royal expert has revealed that Kate uses four specific words to keep her kids in check if she feels they are not behaving well. In his book Gilded Youth, An Intimate History of Growing Up in the Royal Family, royal expert Tom Quinn wrote, according to the Mirror, when Prince Louis misbehaved at the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee for example, by sticking his tongue out at his mother, Kate's reaction was praised by a team of expert commentators. She apparently used a secret code to calm the children, as she does on occasions, she simply says let's take a break. But as a former staffer explained, the children know these few words carry far more weight than we might imagine, he added. However, Kate reportedly doesn't worry too much about her children's behavior, because she likes seeing her kids just being kids. Louis is an energetic child and clearly was unable to contain his excitement at being at a public event, a source told OK, referring to the Wales's appearance at the 2024 Trooping the Colour. Kate doesn't worry about their behavior too much. She loves to see them being kids. It is believed that the Prince and Princess of Wales depend on open dialogue while parenting. They choose to go for a sofa chat rather than isolation when their children have a temper flare-up, and also follow a no-shouting policy. If any of the children raises his or her voice, they are gently removed from the scene. Both William and Kate reportedly maintain calm voices to discipline them. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are deeply concerned over rumors claiming Meghan Markle is a nightmare to work with. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's reputation has taken some hits in recent years, but quotes from a former staff members about Meghan's difficulty is reportedly raising concerns between the couple. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have struggled with their reputations since stepping down from their roles as senior royals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been living in the United States for four years, but they have still had a hard time keeping staff members on their team, which has also been a reason for people to attack them. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.